Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Saturday. March 28, 2020. I haven't a clue what the temperature is. I know it's raining. Weird things are happening with this camera. There are city chickens out there. You just saw Mikey come in. Sammy's sitting here with me. Else didn't want to go out. I got a seriously bad hair get day going again. Got some city chickens and blackbirds out there. Like I said, rain. Look at that Sammy. And I think I'm gonna get up and go feed them some food. They're scavenging for anything out there right now. They look like troops on patrol, scattered out. Looking for any little thing they can find. Oh boy, so I think maybe I'll go do that. We're going to pause. Welcome back to the Least Watched Show on YouTube. I am your host, Pat Kamal. Max and uh, Sam are in having some breakfast. Mikey's in the living room uh, grooming. And Elsie's in her bed underneath the table in the li er, living room, yes. Our coffee is brewing, some 8 o'clock fresh uh, beans, 8 o'clock beans, fresh ground and in the French press. I don't know why it's called the French press, I have no idea. Maybe that's something we can do today, we'll look that up, give you the facts on that tomorrow. Ah, uh, my wrist is still very sore, I sprained it the other day and I've been trying not to put any weight on it or move it around too much but yesterday uh, breaking up some sticks for a fire we had last night didn't do it any good um, had a pretty good day yesterday baked some bread uh, while that was rising I got in about a seven mile ride around town on the bike path on my Kona Jake and then after we baked bread and had lunch we drove up to uh, Uncle John's brother John's Nice Carly's place at Long Lake, picked up some sticks there, talked with the neighbors, and uh, did an 11 mile ride around the Grand Lake area. I didn't go around La Grand Lake, but I took Grand Lake Road. Okay, here comes Sammy. And, uh, come on Sam, look at him. Come on buddy. Come on my sweet friend. Come on sweetheart. Come on and cuddle. Look at that Sammy. I love you buddy. Sammy's joined me, in case you hadn't noticed. Hey buddy. Yeah. So anyway, um, Grand Lake Road to Rayburn Road to US 23 and then back to Lakewood Drive. And when we came home from there, we watched a movie called, uh, what was that called? Life of Crime. It was based on an Elmore Leonard novel and I read a lot of his stuff way back when they're like Wes Anderson movies his novels the, the characters are three-dimensional and um, it's not like a specific genre although it is often criminally involved uh, the movie Jackie Brown was based on one of his, his novels and that novel was called Rum Punch and it had the, that movie had some of the same characters as uh, the one I watched last night, yesterday afternoon, whatever. But we read a little bit and had a fire. Mackie's joined us. Come on, Max. Come on, sweetheart. Tell me about your adventure outside this morning and whether you slept well and had pleasant dreams. Come on, buddy. Come on, Max. Oh, Max. So, anyway... Yeah, the fire didn't burn too good that we had last night. Uh, the, the wood was fairly dry, but the bark on it was still fairly wet, so it was kind of smoky. The wood dried while it was burning, and then once it hit the point where it was dry, it burned very well, so it was a continual smoke burn, no smoke situation. Hey, Mackie, come on. Look at him. Look at those sweet loves. 
Oh boy, there's the coffee again. I think we're almost ready to push down the plunger on that, that press. Uh, and again, out there for all of you. Send in a, your name, call us. Send in a postcard with your name, address, whatever you want. Call us, email us, text us. And you could win an all-expense-paid free trip to watch the mic show on YouTube. Who wouldn't want to do that? 7.5 billion of you, that's who. But that's all right. So anyway, yeah, I'm kind of spaced and scattered more so than usual this morning. We're going to push that plunger down. Hopefully not blow up the neighborhood. See, moving my arm like that isn't bad, but when I go to grab that handle and pour that coffee, that wrist really, really hurts. The other day I could hardly hold my toothbrush to brush my teeth. All right, look at that. Oh, there goes some blackbirds. Ah, oh, that hurt. That hurt. Next time I get a big idea like that, I'm going to sit back and wait till it passes. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sammy. Oh, Sammy, look at me. All right, we're going to pause and hang out with these loves and say a few prayers. Look who's out in that maple tree. Well, he was. I don't know if I got him or not. Mr. Blue Jay was there. Maxie's on my lap. Sammy's coming back up. Come on, Sam. Oh, Danny. Yeah. So, the coffee's tasting pretty good. The company is even better. Oh, yeah. On the tap for today, uh, I work two to six. Yeah, what was that come flying in like a stupid dive bomber? Um, don't really need to do any cooking today. Might just prep some goodies to eat for later. Um, I do what yoga poses we can, back stretches and things like that. But nothing that's going to require us to put any pressure on our hand, right hand and wrist. Yeah, I really jimmied it up biking the other day. Or actually, it wasn't biking. It was picking up some groceries at Gordon Food, some rice and corn chips. And uh, the 25-pound the bag of rice, when I picked it up and set it in the back of the bike carrier and the note crate I have on there, the bike turned and I grabbed the handlebar and the bike twisted a weird way and instead of using two hands to pick it up I only used one and it really jacked my hand out of shape or my wrist out of shape and it's slightly swelled there you can't really see it you can't notice it but there's some bruising right in that area real light a little bit of swelling there oh look at there's my lady there's Princess Elsie so when I was riding yesterday, I just kind of hung on to the handlebar with it. I didn't put no pressure on my wrist, but when it came to breaking up those sticks for that fire, I jimmied it up worse, so. I don't know. Hopefully we won't have to do anything too strenuous at work today. Lots of birds flying out. All right, we're going to pause one more time. We're back again. And not much has changed. Sammy's here with me, Mackie, there's the three of us, and if this is as good as it gets for me today, nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with that at all, yeah. Well, we finished our readings, we finished our morning prayers, but we're not finished hanging out here and cuddling with these sweet loves, no we're not, are we Mackie? No, we are not. Look at Tammy. Mikey's still in the living room. So's Alice. Got about a cup of coffee to go. Maybe a little bit more. Birds have been coming and going. Don't see any out there right now. Mr. Blue Jay was back, but he's not there either. So, I don't have anything profound to say. Anything controversial. Anything depressing. Which, that's depressing, isn't it? If you're, if you're used to me bitching and whining and saying controversial things and trying to drag you down with me to the despair and gloom and agony and misery that's out there in the world instead of all the beauty. Look at the beauty out there. 
No, there is a lot of beauty. Misery is beautiful sometimes. Whatever that means. Hey, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, and if you're watching me, you can't be too far ahead of me or behind me, however you want to look at it. So anyway, have a great day. That's all we got today.